found another little echidna. Okay, we're just getting ready to head off to a another little spot. Where are we doing today, Ingrid? Oh, well, we're going to go, let's see, the Great Wall of China. Yeah, we're going to go and see. Then some... Abdominal. Well, it's not the Great Wall of China. No. What, what would you call it? It's a range, isn't it? It looks oh. like the Great Wall of China. Yeah, just rock formation. A geological formation that looks like a wall that somebody's put together, but it's natural. Yeah. All right. This is us for today. All right, we're just driving by a mountain range out the window. Probably can't really see it. Anyways, it reminds me of the Pilbara. Can't wait for us to get up to WA. Yeah, can't wait for that. That's for sure. Like, cowbunga sort of stuff. Well, just the swim holes and just the colors and the wildlife and the crocodiles. Been pretty nice here. Yeah, this this is surprising. I can see why everybody likes the Flinders Ranges. Oh, it's can um, emus. Oh, emus. So many emus at the moment, they're, well, we're just past spring, so clearly yeah, all the emus have be... had their babies. Yeah, well, I must have had them a while ago, so I'm probably... Oh, they're still pretty young, though. Yeah, There's but... There's quite a few that we've seen that probably aren't even a month old. You reckon? Yeah. Maybe it might be, like... June to now they're having babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the gestation period is for an emu. I'll have to look it up. Or how long they have to sit on the eggs. How far is this away? Like, do you know how big this Great Wall is? Well, I don't know how big it is. I think it's about 30 k's away, though. All right, we're going to go to Storks Hill Lookout. We're going to Storks Hill We've just popped in here to have a bit of a bit of a gander. What's up there? I'll Hi. tell you what. It's a magnificent view, that's for sure. The old flinders. What we're seeing here in the net. So you think this here is that light a bit in the front? Yeah, and then the... This, these ones here are the, the ones at the back, and then those ones there are the ones right at the back. Yeah, I think, like, where you can see there's a bit of a gap there. That's probably this gap. Oh, so where we are is not really on here. I don't... It's, like, over here. Well, unless it's just here. Here. Maybe here where that spot is. Oh, that's pretty cool though. A bit more of a look down here. You can see as far as the eye can see though over here. Yeah. Beautiful day. Pretty cool here. Pretty information. Good information. <sighs> Great view. Snow so camping, it's private property. Magnificent view. On top of the world. You. Loving it. All right. See you in the next bit. See you at the Great Wall of China. Oh, we made it to the road into the Great Wall of China. Yeah, I'm not sure what, how long this road is or what to expect, but you can kind of see the formation just in front of us. So, yeah, here we go. We've made it to the Great Wall of China.
All right, guys. That was the Great Wall of Flinders Ranges, not China. Yeah, I'm sorry. Now we're going to head to what's it called, Ingrid? It's an Aboriginal paintings, which will be pretty cool. Kua Rock. Kua Rock. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's on the other side of where we're at. Willapina. Yeah, about 20 kilometers south of the turnoff, I think, for Willapina Pound. All right. Well, we'll head straight there now. We'll catch us when we get there, eh? Yeah. Sounds good. All right. We're here. We've got about what three k walk. Well, that's round trip. Round trip. The about a hundred meter elevation gain over the kilometer and a half. There we go. It's a bit rocky. Nearly have to put in four wheel drive. Hey, <laughs> shift down a couple of gears. Yeah, put in low range. Have a look at that. Beautiful, eh? Mm. The red colours. We're at a bit of a standstill. The fork in the road. We don't know which way to go yet. Finger, it's having a look at the map. I tell you. We're, we're out of shape, that's for sure. Well, at least we're getting out here and doing it. Well, that's right. Oh, have a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, that says to go right. Yeah, we can go that way or that way. Well, it says to go right. Oh. Probably tells us a story if we go this way. We'll go this way. The spot. We'll just, we'll just have a look. We can see where the water has eroded a rock away, but let's see if there's any artwork in that one. Well, there's a little stool here for a little rest. You think this is it? No. no. Alright, we've made it to the first part of it. <clears throat> As I noticed, it's all barricaded all off on with um, fencing so people can't go in there and damage it. And we've noticed this in Victoria. Where else? That's about it, eh? That's it, yeah. Because people go in there and they they wreck the artwork that's on the walls. Looks pretty good, eh? It does look pretty good. This is the cage work that they put around. Like, definitely locking people out.
they're more, I think, more defined than what we saw in Victoria. Yeah. They're probably more under, like, sheltered. Hmm. Probably doesn't rain here as much as in Victoria either. Yeah, true. But it's more of an overhang as well, I feel. Uh, and they probably put these up... Longer. The, yeah, longer. For longer so time. So that they wouldn't get damaged by people trying to do stupid things. <clears throat> like you see it everywhere, people ride on toilet walls, we've been here and that, and that's what they're probably trying to stop people writing on here. I was here in 2023. That's what we saw in Victoria at Hall's Gap. Yeah. They were writing on the walls. Yeah. I mean, it's a sacred place. We should respect it. That's right. The boardwalks are nice, though, too. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll keep heading around. You want a bit of a drink? Yeah, I'll take some pictures. It's not on the, on the video. All right, that's a bit of artwork. I like seeing bits of that. Going for a little trek and find that. Pretty good, eh, Ingrid? Yeah. I love that type of stuff. I find it so fascinating. It's good how they preserve it like that, though, too. I mean, it's a bit of a bummer. You can't see it without the fence, but... Yeah. You know, somebody has to ruin it for everybody. Well, somebody put on there, Jeff was here 2023. Well, something like that, you know? Yeah. Anyway, we'll just walk back now. Is there another one we have to look at here? I have no idea. Or we'll just keep following this path and see what we find. All right, we're back. We've finished the track. Back to the start so it says two hours to do it we did it just hour just under yeah. an hour, just under an hour and a half yeah that's going pretty steady and we sat at the top and looked at the rock art for a few minutes so yeah it's pretty cool there's a few notice boards over here i'll just have a sh have a show you of them so that's the, the view you get from the car park. It's pretty cool. And that's, that's it for our little adventure for today. We're going to go, where are we going now, Ingrid? Oh, we're going to go see a um, Willapina, old Willapina station. So we're we'll going to have a look around there and show you around there too. All right, so yeah. We've made it to the old Willapina station. Just gonna check out how the, the way they used to live back in the day. Yep. Station life for this would be for sheep, wouldn't it? I think so, yeah. It was a sheep station. It was a sheep station back in the early nineteen hundreds, wasn't it? I think so. I think they had what school here? Blacksmith shop. See our letterbox. Home paddock. Just 
this with this wolf and cure the guy. So I think this used to be a thriving community. Community, yeah. Yeah, I had a blacksmith. Well, I'll have a look at this map anyway when we get to it. Blacksmith, school, a few other things, I think. Well, the homestead, of course. We got a cemetery. Stables. Yeah, we're here. And we'll go around here. Cottage, tree fence post. I don't know what that is. Stable store. Homestead. Pet cemetery. Fowl houses. A real cemetery out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, good time to come here is in the off peak seasons. Because then there's no one here. You're not fight for parks. And it's good. You've got the whole place to yourself. Take your time, do what you want. Really large in the bottom, but short in stature. Yeah, it's like a bonsai tree, but just giant. They're all like got big trunks on them. Not very tall. Like other places that would be 50 metres tall. Mm. Can't really tell what. The wisdom of wire. Have a look at this. This tree, though. That's fence, pretty cool. Fence post tree. I get a close up, like it, you can see that the tree is actually grown around the fence. Well, it's grown through it. Like the corner post. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Well, this fence must be about 130 years old then. Yeah. Like this shop. Well, so you can go inside there. There you go, madam. Thanks. Forging the future. It's a quite cool inside here, considerably, eh? Mm. Concrete walls or rock walls, concrete over top of them. So there's a bit of fire that's happened through here. The old tools still good nick too. Yeah, pretty amazing. There's a picture from a Wolapina accommodation house. 1862. Oh, grind sound with our drill press. Mm. That'd be hand hand drilling. I didn't use one of them. No, thank you. Oh, grindstone to grind up your knives. Or your axes, I should say. All right, let's keep moving on, Ingrid. Yeah, all right. Service for the saddle. Probably, yeah. 
Look at the floor. Saddles and harness room is back in 1862. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. This is where they would have kept all the saddles. They still got some up here. Oh, yeah? The yeah, old saddle there. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Bridles. Look at that little stool right here. Yeah, uh, shoeing the horses, probably. Yeah. Eighteen sixty-two. I know. There's a gate. We can see if it's open or not. We'll see if it's open. It's one that doesn't have a tennis court here. Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere else seems to have a tennis court. Yeah. Like old properties like this. This is where Fido sat. Jobs for dogs. Oh, that's the pet cemetery there. Where? Right here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Bindi, a very wilding dog. Here lies Felix, 1953 to 67, Wandercat. Stumpy, 1938 to 53, a mighty sheepdog. I lived a while somewhere. Yeah, I was going to say the. 68 to 83, 81. Especially out here, because you'd think of snakes and stuff. What's that, 63, is it? 53. 53. 53 to 67 was the cat. 38 to 53 was the sheepdog. Can't read that one. Stumpy's wife, I think it says. Oh, yeah. Chooks and Chutney. This is a homestead, is it? Yeah, this is even homestead. Must be closed. It's pretty cool, this homestead, eh? There's lots of doors. Yeah. Any have opened? No, I didn't see any open. Look at those bees there. Eh? The water. Must be. Oh, that was pretty cool. Having a look around the old homestead, how it was a hundred and what, 30 years ago? 35 years ago. 35 years ago. Or well, it'll be more than that now. It was a working. Worked for 135 years, yeah. so, and that stopped around, well, I don't know, must have been early 80s or something. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm. Anyway, back to the car, back to camp, kick back and relax for a little bit. All right, see ya.
All right, well, that's a wrap for a little paint of pounds and the Flinders Ange. Ranges, I should say. Ranges, yeah. It's been a pretty good stay, though. It's been good. Yeah, the weather's been decent, not too hot, nice cool nights, good yeah. breeze. Saw echidnas and lots of lizards. Yeah. And gazillion emus. So, yeah, it's been good. Oh, well, we're about to hit the road. Cars going, ready for us to get in, and um, we'll see you on the next adventure. Anyways, if you could subscribe to our channel, that would be amazing. Helps us out, free for you. Doesn't cost you anything, and um, yeah, it just helps us out. So we're getting started. <laughs> subscribe below.